hey guys welcome back to my channel this is Christine here if you are new here thank you so much for tuning in if you are returning I appreciate you so much today's video is going to be about my top 10 designer fragrances if this is a topic that interests you or if you're just curious to know what my ranking is please stay tuned guys so I'm going to start with number 10 and this list was very very difficult to do but number 10 is going to be Coco Noir by Chanel this is a very beautiful classy um fragrance i just had to add it to this list okay it was between gabrielle and coco noir but i decided on coco noir because first of all packaging is everything so this one has notes of bergamot grapefruit you have some geranium uh jasmine peach some rose you have some tonka bean vanilla musk and benzoin this is a very elegant very sophisticated put together i would actually even consider this a kind of like church sunday church you know scent it's like so appropriate for it but also like a nice you know uh sunday brunch scent with your girls but it's so so sophisticated it's beautiful 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 it's airy i love to wear it when the weather is kind of like soft you know like springtime it's like a beautiful beautiful scent so yeah number 10 is going to be coco noir by chanel so number nine is going to be Miss Very Good Girl by Carolina Herrera, the one in the beautiful red packaging. I mean, first of all, packaging on 10, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, this one is a beautiful rose, um, sexy, seductive, sweet uh, scent. And then this one is, um, it was very hard for me to actually put this at number nine simply because, I don't know, like I really like, all of them and i feel like this one could be much higher depending on who you are but i don't reach for this scent as much anymore uh, and i was like i still want to include it because it's such a good scent right so this one is a very flirty sexy sweet type of like rose uh it's been kind of like hailed as the tube for delina i can see the similarities but not quite once you have delina you kind of like can tell that they are in the same realm but not really that similar this one has notes of lychee, uh, red currants. You have some rose, vanilla, and vetiver. It's a beautiful, really, really beautiful uh, scent. I mean, just the packaging got me every, like it gets me every single time, like every single time. This is so cute. I don't even know why this is number nine. I feel like this should be a little bit higher, but well, there is a ranking. All right, so number seven is going to be Victor Roth Flower Bomb. Now, Flower Bomb is a classic. It's ranking higher than Very Good Girl simply because not a lot of people are into sweet fragrances, although this one has some sweetness, but this one is a little bit more classic than um, Very Good Girl. This one has been around for such a long time and for a good reason, it's a bestseller. Um, it's one scent that is just very easy to pull off, especially when the weather is warm. And sometimes even when the weather is a little bit cooler, you can kind of like mix it with your heavier scent and it smells really, really good. This one has notes of tea, bergamot, osmentus. You have some orchids, some rose, some freesia, then some vanilla, some musk. This is a very nicely balanced fragrance. It smells good. Um, you can wear it for any event. It's just gonna smell good. It's very easy reach as well. So yeah. So, so number seven. I think no. This yes. Number seven. Number seven is going to be. Prada Paradox. So this is a gorgeous, easy reach, so girly, so feminine, just so pleasant fragrance. Now, this one is ranking, you know, at number seven simply because the other ones are just such good performers that there's just nowhere I was going to put this. Uh, this is fantastic. Okay, this is fantastic. This is that scent that is going to take you, you know, during, you know, at work, during daytime, brunch, errands. It's just so effortless and airy. I really, 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 really love this. This one has notes of pear, tangerine. So you have some orange blossom, some neroli, some jasmine, some bourbon vanilla, some white musk and benzoin. It's such a well-rounded, uh, fragrance like it's just so pleasant like so so pleasant i absolutely absolutely love this when spring rolls around in summer i'm bathing in this i'm always bathing in this so it's just kind of like you can see this was made last spring and summer so yeah i'm waiting for spring and summer again and just i'm gonna rock this for sure so number six is going to be uh miss fenty 
Number six is going to be Miss Fenty. Now, Miss Fenty is ranking much higher because the performance on this is just nuclear. Okay, it's nuclear. This is a very sexy, dark rose. It's very inviting, intoxicating. It's like a scent that I feel like someone like Marilyn Monroe could pull. Like, it's just such a beautiful, like really like what I said, like a dark rose. So it has notes of blueberry, tangerine. So you have some Bulgarian rose, uh, some magnolia, some musk and patchouli. The patchouli is very heavy on this fragrance. So some people might be turned off by that. But for me, I just feel like this is kind of like a fragrance that it just knows what it's doing. It really does, you know, like it's a fragrance on a mission. <laughs> if that's the thing but this fragrance is really on a mission it's on a mission to get you noticed it's on a mission to last on you forever it's on a mission to just get attention it's an attention grabbing fragrance and it's beautiful so yeah I definitely definitely recommend and this is gonna be on my top six all right so we're getting to my top five so top five number five is going to be bracopium le parfum <sighs> honestly i just feel like ysl should just stop with all the flankers and just just give up this you know like this is beautiful okay this one has an overload of vanilla it has like four different types of vanilla and the vanilla overload with that creamy coffee is just so incredibly intoxicating it's beautiful it goes with a lot of fragrances that i have it's because it has that overload of vanilla so i mean like seriously like seriously so this one has notes of cinnamon pear mandarin and uh, green mandarin so you have some solar notes some jasmine sandbag some orange blossom then you have some madagascar vanilla bourbon vanilla vanilla absolute vanilla orchid coffee i mean like the vanillas are just doing something okay they're doing something if you are looking to get any of the black opium by YSL, I definitely recommend the Le Parfum to be your first stop and then you can try the other ones. But honestly, this one is just incredible. I feel like they should just have the OG and this and that's it. <laughs> but that's just my personal preference. So anyway, so black opium Le Parfum is definitely top five for me. Right, guys, so top four is going to be Burberry Goddess. Now, first of all, this packaging, can we just take a moment gorgeous absolutely gorgeous this is another fragrance that has a lot of vanilla but then it has a little bit of a kick with the lavender the ginger it's very aromatic very like enveloping and comforting type of scent but it's also so elegant it really does smell like like a goddess like it just smells so ethereal in a way so this is gorgeous it has notes of vanilla lavender cacao ginger then you have some vanilla caviar and then you have some vanilla absolute like literally three different types of, of vanilla it's like this fragrance is beautiful it's an easy reach it's inoffensive it's gonna be a fragrance that is just pleasant and whenever you're gonna be wearing it people are just going to just give you those compliments because it just smells so effortless and um yeah no for real like i definitely definitely love this and this is number four Guys, okay, so we're getting to the top three and this one can be rearranged however be depending on anybody's preference but i put at number three valentino born in roma this is <sighs> beautiful i have a personal story with valentino born in roma i returned her twice and the third time that i purchased her i was like okay i get it i get it now you know my nose got accustomed to some notes in the meantime and I just kind of like started really, really loving this. This is a beautiful, sophisticated, you know, mature, but not old fragrance that is also fun and flirty. It's just so, so beautiful. It's a compliment getter. It travels. It, it, it has an amazing sillage. It has great longevity. It has notes of blackcurrant, pink pepper. Then you have some jasmine, jasmine sandbag, some jasmine tea, bourbon vanilla, cashmere and gayak wood. It's a very intoxicating fragrance. I just love this. I just love this. This one is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Like confidence booster, confident, uh, compliment getter, like on 10, literally on 10. So number three is Valentino Bonnie Roma. Okay, so number two, number two is 
Miss Good Girl. Carolina Herrera Good Girl, honestly. Like, so my bottle is a limited edition uh, bottle, so I so love it with the black and the polka dot. It's so cute. Um, this fragrance is the one that started my fragrance journey. Honestly, it was the very first designer fragrance that I purchased. Um, kind of like, at least as, like, as recent as like three to four years. I'm not going to count the ones that I had prior because really I wasn't into fragrances like that. But this one was really the beginning of this particular journey that I'm on, right? So this is a gorgeous, sophisticated you know, boss lady, boss vibes, you know what you want, you're about business type of fragrance. It's, oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. So it has notes of almond, coffee. Uh, you have some jasmine sandbags, some orange blossom, some Bulgarian rose, then some vanilla, some praline, some cacao, some cinnamon, some amber, some tonka bean. It has a lot going on, but then it's blended in such a way that it's just so sophisticated this fragrance is beautiful if you're looking for a fragrance that is just going to be boss lady true and true don't look further than good girl by Gaurina Rewa really so number two is good girl and number one if you guys know me very well you know which one it is because I love packaging and this one is the epitome of beautiful packaging this is luxe this is sophistication this is everything the scent is to die for oh my gosh the scent is to die for like ah oh yes yes so good just so so good so this one has a lot of that lavender but the lavender compared to the original is less masculine less aggressive this one has been rounded because it has a little bit more vanilla so the notes are going to be lavender mandarin orange then you have again some lavender some jasmine sandbag and orchid then you have some madagascar vanilla tonka bean ambergris this is a fantastic gorgeous 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 true and true fragrance okay this is a fragrance that is going to get your compliments wherever you're going to be wearing wearing whenever you're going to be wearing it um it travels it lasts a long time it projects it's beautiful it's just sophisticated the packaging on the vanity is just like look at this like come on come on give me lux give me lux but yeah no i had to include this as my uh, top one it was very difficult for the top three but yeah the packaging got me and then the scent too so yeah so number one is YSL Live Intense all right my loves this is the end of this video this was my top 10 designer fragrances what do you think about this ranking do you agree do you disagree what is your own ranking let me know in the comment section don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and share and I will see you in my next video Bye.